All right, gonna show you how quote unquote Christian contemporary music, which is it's a repackaging and try attempting at Christianizing fornication rock music, because rock and roll, the word means fornication, the term means fornication, trying to Christianize fornication music and how it perverts the psalms and hymns. Because sometimes what they'll do is that, is how Christian rock music, Christian death metal too, which is actually a thing, Christian death metal actually exists, which is kind of odd. Uh, they will sometimes take psalms and hymns, the, the beautiful psalms and hymns, and try to put them on death metal music and try to Christianize those and try to make those with death metal. But the, po the point of rock music, the problem with Christian rock music is that it takes you away from psalms, hymns, hymns and spiritual songs. Which is a major, major problem. Turn to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 19. And the reason why I did so many videos, these three videos on Christian contemporary music, is because all of my family are professing Christians, which they do have a good testimony, they do have the right gospel, but they're all deceived by Christian contemporary music. They all think that, oh, it's it's good, doesn't matter how you praise God, as long as you're praising God. So this hits me personally. This is kind of a personal subject for me. Because CCM has deceived, deceived most of my, my family, who are, I believe, are saved, but just stuck in the CCM world. So it's, it's a personal subject. It hits me personally. So... I do take it personally. It is, it is a sin that my, my family is in bondage to. And I'm doing it so that you and your family don't get in bondage to this sin either. Because it can seduce you. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 19. And to know that the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with the fullness of God. Oops, I went to Ephesians 3, 19. Sorry. Ephesians chapter 5, and verse number 19. I went to the wrong chapter. See, I'm still fallible. I make mistakes. I am far from perfect. Ephesians 5.19 Speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the in your heart to the Lord. How does that death metal and, and fornication rock music do that? It doesn't. It glorifies the flesh. Colossians 3.16 Turn there in your King James Bible. It's Colossians 3.16 let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Again, how do you have this death metal, which you can't even understand the lyrics. You hear it, Christian death metal. And then taking the, the, the beautiful psalms and trying to put that on wicked rock music, how is that speaking to yourself and, and admonishing each other in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs? How is that a spiritual song? How is it a spiritual song if you're glorifying the flesh with fornication music? It's not. It perverts the purpose of the psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. James chapter 5 and verse number 13. Turn there. If any among you be if if any is any among you afflicted, let him pray. If is any merry, let him sing death metal music. Oh no, it doesn't actually say death metal. Let him sing Christian rock music. Let him sing fornication music. Oh wait, it doesn't say that either. Let, let him sing psalms. Hmm. Found that a little bit interesting. And again, I am being kind of harsh because I get my whole my most of my family is deceived by the sin, so it hits me personally. So I am going to be harsh about it. Psalms ninety-five and verse number two. Let us come before his presence and th with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Notice how it doesn't include glorifying the flesh or fornication music. Uh, psalms 105 and verse number 2. Sing unto him, sing, psal sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all of his wondrous works. How does death metal, w in what way does death metal, Christian death metal, Talk ye of all his wonderful works. Because again, it all comes back to you glorifying the flesh. How is glorifying the flesh talking about his wonderful works, his wonderful creation he's made? The fact that he sent his only son to die and pay for your sins for a worthless, wretched sinner like you. And me too. And all of us. How is death metal talking about his wonderful works? It's not. It's all about entertainment and glorifying your flesh. And there's nothing wrong with just entertaining yourself, but not with worldly sinful means. 
uh, First Chronicles 16.9. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. Parroting and repeating what Psalms 105, uh, Psalms, Psalms 105 verse 2 says. It's a parallel verse. Again, music that glorifies your flesh is not singing of all his wonderful works. It's always about glorifying your wicked flesh and your wicked, disgusting, sinful flesh. That will be gone at the time of the resurrection, obviously. Because you're given an incorruptible body. You can read about that First 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51 to 54. So I just wanted to do that, showing you how the rock music, Christian death metal, perverts the purpose of psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. It's wicked. It's not Christian. Again, you can't Christianize Halloween any more than you can Christianize, or sorry, you can't Christianize the heathen occult holiday of Christmas any more than you can, any more you can Christianize the uh, wicked satanic holiday of Halloween and you can't Christianize death metal music and fornication rock music and try to make it holy and Christian you can't Christianize that any more than you can Christianize voodoo music or any anything like that you can't do that you can't make a clean thing out of an unclean thing like Job 14.4 says paraphrasing of course so wanted to do these videos just showing because again it is a personal matter for me because most of my family is deceived by CCM so, don't be deceived by the whole CCM movement. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.